Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play XCOM 2 Long War 2. So today I am rescuing a VIP from an advent cell. I'm pretty sure this is the A-team going here, so looking forward to this. I think I even have a specialist on the squad. We'll see what happens here. Because I remember in the past having these be like super, super long levels, and I would really not like them to be. Surveillance area Lagos. Lagos, the Lagilon was Protoss. What does that mean? Okay. Let's see who do I see in the background there. Could that. Oh, the Sub Zero on the mission. Okay, I know this mission. I'm not sure how much movement range Sub Zero has. He has decent name, though. Also, Dead Pants on the mission. So, you know, I have some named characters here. Can see that as they zoom out. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, that is also just a random sniper. Oh yeah, four people on this mission. I forgot about the size of this mission. I do remember though, or I do see though, that this is a shorter mission for which I am very, very grateful. Okay, dead pants. Let's get started. Dead pants has fantastic um, mobility. If I do say so myself. In sight. So I already see how hostile targets, I want to skirt around them because I don't want to waste my time, even though the extraction is pretty far away here. But going down there would reveal me. Okay, can I go control here and then here? Yeah, okay. So I gotta take everybody off the roof in a path that doesn't actually put them in the line of sight of this one civilian. Kind of unfortunate, but I can deal with it. Who in the fuck's name is this? Sub-Zero, you have ridiculous movement! Wow! Holy hell, okay, you go way over here. Didn't spot anybody else, thankfully. So I'm gonna be doing some of these fairly extreme dashes Let's do this. since I can also glad to have an assault on this mission or a rate assault I think I don't know what they've decided to name them here these guys seem to be moving away which is fine with me again I don't necessarily need to <sighs> to, to fight every squad I really don't like that but fortunately, it did not reveal me, and I can use this opportunity to move as far forward as possible. I'm gonna start with the shinobi moving up here. I've got enemy movement here. So, I don't think I have to engage with those guys either, because the cells, if I'm not mistaken, are on the other side. Because I've got friends on the other side. So I'm gonna move Snowby way over here, lose sight of those guys, hopefully, and then keep this up. I could be revealed at any point here, and I don't like that. Stepping off. But I'm going to try anyways to stay, stay in enemy blind spots and not be seen. Because being revealed when I only see one enemy is not the worst thing that could happen to me. Go into this corner right here. Fortunately, this guy, this ranger, does not have much vision, and we are going to be spotted definitely. I think, yeah, spotted flanked enemy. Fortunately, I don't think it will, it will, um, it will trigger the squad over there. But I do think I have to continue moving this way in order to avoid the squad that just went behind the corner. So Sub-Zero is still actually in concealment. Issue is I need my tech. So Ding is going to, I think just be dashing as far as he can over in this direction. I think there will be an entrance on this side and I love the idea of skirting the borders here. So I'm going to keep on moving in this direction. Basically split up my squad. 
and then scout ahead with the shinobi. Okay, so I do have a hostile target here, but it's only a single drone. So that's not too concerning to me. Um, pretty much useless taking cover against a drone. Since the drone is going to be able to attack us from anywhere with anybody. I think maybe my best option is to actually use some grenades against it. At least get its armor down, and then just take some shots. Three damage! It's real good. There we go. Got it down. Could be run into by another squad at any point now. Which is horrif a horrifying prospect. But I'm just taking a run through this. Drone continues to move forward. Big drone keeps on moving. Proud drone keeps on grooving. Okay, so I think I go here. Drone is in my line of sight. Let's open open the door and see if there's anybody inside of here. Seemingly not. And the extraction point is just over there. And there's no vision to this area from there. Roger that. Shinobi's staying in reserve quite nicely. Let's take cover from this side since I know lots of units are hanging out on that side. And then make sure that I don't get into line of sight of this drone at present. I'm gonna go here, he could run towards me, but these units are already revealed, so all it would do is make a dash, or, you know, do the reveal thing, where it could take a shot, but probably won't. I'm more concerned about an enemy group coming from this angle. Okay, in all honesty, that's actually a fairly good outcome here. And the reason I say that is because my shinobi was about to be revealed, but now is not. And Mr. Dominigo here can actually get in and hack the, the cell doors. Unless he can't move in for some reason? Okay, he can. So let's go in there. Don't think there's anybody at present in here. I can hack the door, of course. And I only have one unit to extract, which is fantastic. Just a single grenadier. A new rebel joins the haven. I'd love that to happen. Oh, and I get the new rebel. So I get a haven recruit as well, which is fantastic. I love it. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. Unfortunately, I haven't unlocked the door, so it's gonna be a bit of a weird turn for the VIP. Oh, never mind. the VIP can just run like a motherfucker. But I actually would like to move Sub-Zero first, just to see if there's any enemies hanging out on this side here. There is not, so the VIP can just kind of get out of there. No, VIP, I, I, need, I need you. Except the VIP is taking a weird route. There we go. I think that's the way to go. And I think the next move is to just make sure this drone dies. This is almost a self-stealth mission, but not quite. So you just move over here. Take the best shot you possibly can, which is a 71. And miss, but that's all right. I have lots of turns to deal with this. I have lots of time to deal with this, at least. Should I just throw a rocket at it? Two to seven damage, but Four tile scatter, I could end up killing my own guy. So I think I just let it be. Okay, so those are two advent units there. Gotta make sure I stay out of their range. You just overwatch. So you have nothing else to do, really. I think I head here and just take a shot. Could also throw a grenade. 
two to five, it could do enough damage to kill it. It would at least take off its armor. Okay, it actually killed it. Lucky roll on the damage there. Fantastic. Fantastic. Then if I can get everybody into a position where they can just get to the evac point next turn, I'm in a good spot. Problem is Matthews has a very low movement range. No need to ask twice. It's pretty good anyways, but that low movement range kind of screws me out of getting somewhere fast. Okay, these guys are no longer visible, which is fantastic. I'll do a bit of forward scouting to see if Sub-Zero sees them from anywhere, but Rolling. they might have moved far away enough that I can actually evac securely. Now I see them but all right there. Okay, so I think I don't see them from here. I don't, and I can get him to the evac point without triggering them. And evac. There we go. VIP secured and everybody else pretty much in position to get out of there. So where are they moving now? And am I going to be... Is it going to be a requirement that I ambush them is really what I want to know. Okay, I don't see anybody from here. So I'm going to move there. I could be revealed next turn, but I think if that happens, I can get out. Then if I can't see anyone from there, I definitely can't see anyone from here. And then if I can't see anyone from here, I definitely, if I control click here, can then move there, I think think without revealing anybody. I wish I could zoom out a bit more to see if I had a shot from any of these positions. I don't think I do. Copy that. So next turn's extraction, guys. Okay, so... Those guys are pretty safe, so I'm moving over here, too. Okay, so I was not expecting this. I should have been expecting this, because I can always see whether reinforcements are coming or not just on the top. But I don't think they can go into Overwatch this turn. They might be able to take a shot on me, but all my guys can evacuate this turn. So that should be all right. They all get pretty good cover. I'm not sure if any of them get a shot. One of them spots my guy, but is instantly shot in the butt. On the margins. Okay, and revealing him revealed the second squad who does not get an overwatch, hopefully. That doesn't matter though, because I've planned this well and everybody can get out this turn as long as there's no overwatches, which there are not. So you have such low movement range that you can't even get a shot off this turn, but that is all right because you will just retreat probably to the furthest position over here. There we go, Shinobi's out. Actually everybody has to retreat without taking a shot except for you. You might as well just take a shot with your assault rifle on this guy. No reason not to. One more damage, those grazes. This guy is one lucky advent motherfucker. And then we just evac all. Well done, guys. Not really a stealth mission as you were revealed for more than half of it, but pretty close to a stealth mission anyways, especially Sub-Zero. Flawless mission. Um, not getting revealed till the very end there and giving us very valuable scouting information throughout. It's a good time. It is a good time indeed. Luckiest was Dead Pants. I'm not sure how he got luckiest. Did he get missed at some point? I thought no shots were taken, taken on me at all. Sneakiest, of course, Sub-Sub-Zero. Sub-Sub-Zero-Zero. 
Chavez moved the furthest. Unluckiest was Demigod? Why? Nobody got hit? Dealt most damage, dead pants. Unfinished business, sub 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 zero. Sub sub zero zero. Power couple? The two people who took shots this round, I guess. That makes sense if you ask me. And we got a good hack. So, tons of resources gained here and nothing lost at all. So, overall, fantastic mission. And promotions. Fire in the hole is definitely what Deadpants is gonna take. I'm assuming Deadpants probably wants to look more badass, but I was happy with him for this mission anyways. Minus three, why do you have minus three mobility? Am I having you carry something ridiculous? And definitely taking lightning reflexes. Electroshock's pretty good, but lightning reflexes is just way too valuable. Cutthroat almost definitely, even though Shadow Walker would suit what happened this mission. And combat protocol because I am stupid and have not taken anyone with aid protocol. Get Rafia Muth Muthambi. Gotta check out her aim to see exactly what's going on with that. New soldiers. The Grenadier has a promotion. Lightly wounded. Why does he start out lightly wounded? What the hell is that all about? Well, at least he also starts out getting sapper right away, which is nice. Ten days wounded. What the hell? The hell, man. The hell, boy. Don't call me hell, boy. I'm hell man now. Two days to investigate for a soldier, definitely worthwhile. Better than getting like five intel, which seems to be what I'm doing right now. And if I'm not mistaken, I should now have a another soldier here who has automatically assigned to recruit, or is it another soldier here? Ah, two, sold, two guys who are, have assigned to hiding, which I might as well go, you know, throw them both into supply, I guess, for now. Let's do the two day scan. New target acquired. Two days, five hours expiration. Hell no, that's not happening. I'm not sure why that keeps stopping there. And my next infiltration is up. It is vulnerable already, so evac three turns, extremely light, and this must be the A squad, so. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. If you enjoyed the stealth, um, well, just say so in the comments, I guess. There's nothing really that you have to do about it. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.